Studio Ghibli is one of the most iconic and well-received animation companies of all time. So here are five film recommendations for you. Released in 1986, and the launch pad for Studio Ghibli itself is Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Set a thousand years after a destructive global war that decimated humanity, the remaining population is split into kingdoms while the majority of the world has become poisonous to humanity, particularly a toxic jungle that continues to expand. The Valley of the Wind, specifically Nausicaa herself, has found a way to embrace the world they find themselves in, while war and destruction of the jungle are priorities for other opposing factions. This is a childhood favorite of mine, so I'll mention that the animation shows a bit of age, but it's still beautiful and engaging to watch. The Academy Award nominated Howl's Moving Castle features a highly inventive art direction and story that follows a quiet young girl named Sophie as she becomes cursed by the Witch of the Waste. While trying to get rid of the curse, Sophie ends up going on an adventure through the power of Howl's mysterious and magical castle. Additionally, we find some of the best art from Ghibli to date. After a ruthless gang of pirates hijack an airship and attempt to steal a mystery gem, Shida's only protection is Drupatsu, a young optimistic boy searching for Laputa, the legendary floating island. Castle in the Sky takes place centuries after a renaissance of technology has since vanished. This sci-fi adventure is one of Ghibli's most unique films, even at its 30 year age. Many of Studio Ghibli's films can be summed up as magical, fun experiences for those who watch, and no film is more magical or fun than My Neighbor Totoro. The film follows the adventures of two sisters who spend time playing in the forest and discover creatures and spirits that live there. Totoro does take pauses and I'd recommend anyone that has an issue with slow pacing to be aware of the slow moments this film implements into its narrative, but this doesn't move as fluidly as Spirited Away or Ponyo. The Wind Rises follows a boy and his passions to work and design aircraft. And while the studio's previous films had mostly delved into fiction, this was inspired by the life of Jiro Hirosaki, a Japanese aerospace engineer. Ghibli, however, not only uses this to tell a great story, but to push the studio's art and animation. Alright guys, so before I leave, I want to mention that the only reason I didn't mention Spirit Away is because it's already gotten massive popularity and I wanted to shed light on a few other titles. If you haven't watched Spirit Away yet, it's one of the most inventive and engaging stories from Studio Ghibli, and I'd recommend that you watch that just as much as any others on this list. Like if you want me to make another recommendation list, and subscribe for new recommendations coming weekly. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Brian Swan, stay tuned for more.